Hey guys, I'm Juliana and today's video is a cook with me video. I am making a crock pot dish. It is super easy to make and I'm actually making two dishes out of this meal. So if you want to see what I'm doing, just keep watching. Here are all the ingredients I am putting in the crock pot. So all you really have to do is put everything in the crock pot and leave it cooking. I know this might look like a lot of ingredients, but they're actually very simple ingredients that you probably already have at home. That is like the number one thing I look for when I'm looking for recipes. And if I don't have something at home, I just end up switching the recipe around and that's what I did for this one. So what I listed is what I actually used. I also know that there's probably easier ways to do this. I know um, you can use like a salsa jar or stuff like that. I just like doing it this way because I could control the flavor of it a little better and also I feel like it's a little healthier because I know exactly what's going in it. I am putting all the ingredients in the crock pot except for the beans which I will be throwing in later. Once I put everything in, I just mix everything up, make sure the chicken is nice and coated, and then I will set it on high for three hours. Once the three hours are up, I'm going to come back and set it to low, and I will be adding the black beans. I'm going to shred the chicken, which should be nice and super easy to shred by now with two forks, and then I'm going to leave it cooking for another 30 minutes. So once you're done shredding your chicken and it cooks for another half hour, your dish is completely done and you could actually eat it or make tacos, make burritos, whatever you want. But for the purpose of this video, I am going to be showing you the two dishes I'm making with it. First one is going to be some burrito bowls like Chipotle. Of course this is optional, you don't have to make your own rice, but I am making my own rice because I am Latina and that's what we do, that's why I have one of these rice pots. So I'm just going to show you how I make it. I drizzle some olive oil on it, then I chop up a little bit of garlic and also some scallions and then I'm going to let them cook for a little bit, get all the flavor out and before it starts getting golden, I'm going to add two cups of water for one cup of rice. Okay guys, I'm not like a professional chef but I do make some really good rice so here are a few of my tricks. When I add my two cups of water, the second cup of water, I don't fill it up all the way to the top. I just put a little less than a full cup. Next thing I do is I don't wash the rice. I'm not sure if you have to do this, but I don't. And I feel like that gives it a better flavor. And then the last thing as far as flavor goes is I put enough salt to make the water taste a little saltier than I want my rice to taste. I don't know if that made sense, but those are the three things I do. Once I put in the rice, I make sure it's nice and covered with the water and I let it cook until the water is almost gone. Then I will cover it and take down the temperature and then I'm going to let it cook for around 15 to 20 minutes, give or take, but I won't touch it again until it's fully cooked. Okay, so for our first dish we have burrito bowls and I made my own salsa here with some chopped up tomatoes, scallions, cilantro and lime juice. I have already shredded lettuce some Mexican cheese and of course some avocados I put a list up for you guys and also a little cute baby named Penelope <laughs> now that my rice is all done cooking all I'm doing is fluffing it up with a fork and I'm just adding some fresh chopped up cilantro and voila you have cilantro rice just like chipotle Okay, here I'm showing you this brown rice that you could do instead of making your own rice and this would just make your dish that much easier and also a little bit healthier. I'm turning off my crock pot and I'm putting together my bowls and I'm putting them together just like if I was at Chipotle except I'm using sliced avocado because I didn't feel like making any guac. But I hope you guys like this dish. I know you will love it. It's super easy and it's so good. And now I'm going to also show you my second dish I made with this chicken and it was actually the next day so it's a leftover dish. Here's the final product. It looks so good and it was so delicious. 
Okay, now that football is back, these are my game day nachos. Not that I really care for football, but it's a great dish for Sundays. Um, I made some guacamole, I make some tomato and onions together. I am using the same cheese and the same lettuce as yesterday. I also have the same baby. <laughs> and I'm just adding some tortilla chips. So now I'm gonna show you how I put this together. These are going to be going in the oven. So as usual, I am lining up my baking sheet with some aluminum foil to make it easier to clean. I'm gonna add my Tostito chips and then get the chicken that was in the fridge from yesterday, add it on top of the Tostito chips, put some of the Mexican cheese and in the oven they go. This is a great dish if you're having people over because it seriously fits so many people. <laughs> I preheated the oven to 350 before I started putting this together, but I didn't really put them for an exact time. I just kept checking on them and took them out whenever I saw the cheese was melted enough. Once the cheese is melted and you take them out, you could just add your toppings. So I'm adding the shredded lettuce, I'm adding the tomato and onion mixture I made, and then the guacamole. You can also add sour cream to these or you could just put it on the side for whoever wants it. Um, Tone doesn't like sour cream so I'm not adding it to the nachos but I am putting a little bit on the side for myself. <laughs> okay so here's the final product. They turned out so so good. We couldn't finish them but if we had people over this would have been so great. Okay guys that is it for today. These are the two dishes I made with my one crock pot recipe which was very easy so i hope you guys enjoyed the video thank you so much for watching i hope you try it out and i'll see you next time bye